<laughs> okay, here we are. Yep. It's it's exciting. It's demo day. It's demo day. It's Friday. Friday. We're filming yes. on Friday. This will show Thursday of next week, which is the day before the next one, which is so confusing. You'll see it when you see it. You'll see it when you see it. But this is Dawn Carnell. If you Hi. guys haven't met Dawn before, this is Dawn Carnell. We are so lucky to have her on our staff here. And she's going to start doing demo days. She made the most adorable little sign. Oh, I love it. Demo day Fridays. It's going to be something different every Friday. We're going to try it every Friday. And if my brain gets fried, we may have to go to every other Friday. <laughs> but today I'm showing the chenille it tool. It's this tool right here. And it's pretty awesome. It has a rotary cutting blade inside it. And then it has these four sides and each side is a different size depending upon how dense you want your chenille to be that's what size that's what, what makes you decide what size to use we're using the medium you can see there's little mark i don't know if you can really see it or not but here that little s right there can you see that we're using the m the m side and what we're doing is we're sandwiching together three pieces of nine and a half inch square onto a ten and a half inch square and we're just sandwiching them like a little quilt. I've never seen these until today. I tell you what, I'm going home with a set of these if they're, if they're still, yeah. I love these. I don't I've quilt. I've wondered about them. I've never quilted. Yeah. And so this is kind of like quilting, but not really. But for a small little thing, they are so sharp and they just close so easy. I love these. So anyway, the instructions say to draw a line from corner to corner and then three-eighths of an inch all the way across. Well, I eliminated that step, but if you wanted to, you could use a chalk pencil and go ahead and draw that on. But what I do, let me just show you what I do. You and your tape. Mama. I know. I love this blue tape. And I'm just going to take my every blue sewing, tape. Every sewing room should have one. Oh, every sewing room should have all the widths. Mm -hmm. This, I don't know, is a three-eighths of an inch or three-quarters of an inch or whatever it is. So anyway, and then you got to have your walking foot. And it just so happens that my walking foot is three-eighths of an inch from the needle over to the side. So how lucky am I? So uh, some of the big fancier machines have wider ones, but... You know, check it out. Check what size yours is. So I'm just going to run my walking foot right along the edge. I'm not really sewing on the tape. I'm just using the tape as my guideline so I don't have to uh, draw the lines on. And there you go. And then you take your tape off. And you'll have a sewing line. And then... You're just going to start sewing three-eighths of an inch over, three-eighths of an inch all the way across, and then come back and do it all the way across this way. And when you get that done, this is what it looks like. And when you put them together, what you want to do is, instead of making the lines go the same way, you want to turn it so that they go the opposite way. See how these lines are going that way and these lines are going that way? You put them together, back to back, and you chenille them. Where'd my chenille go? Here it is. So like I said, we put it on the medium, and it's got the blade in there, and the blade's uncovered. It's not uncovered on these other spots, just there. And watch this, this is so fun. You'll wanna do these for the neighbor, for the neighbor's neighbor. For the neighbor's dog. These are so fun to do because it's just whoop and all three of those layers get cut and they're on the bias so that when you take your brush, I gotta get a brush. I closed them all up. So when you take your brush, you can brush it up and it chenilles it. Chenilles it. Look at that. Isn't that awesome how that does it? And then when you wash it, when you put the two together and you wash it, it makes it really dense. If we had feel of vision, if we had feel of vision, you know those. Gotta have that feel of vision. You know those bowl bowl cozies yeah. everybody's making. Yeah. Hey, oh, we need one for a plate. A plate. I love it. It's flat for a plate. 
That's nice. So you eat yeah. your plate of flute. Okay, let's do the out. feel of vision for yeah, them. Yeah, feel of vision. Woo! Oh my gosh. So Isn't like that if awesome? I'm if I'm eating on the couch, I don't have to worry about it being too hot. Right on your my, lap or your hands. My and then chenille. if you take panels and you put several panels together, <gasps> this is three panels. Oh. And all you do is panel. you line them up. Yes. Yeah. You line them up. You sew them the same way. Use your tape as your starting point. Now I'm not. I didn't go from corner to corner because this is an octa um, rectangular piece. So I just went from one corner on a 45 mm -hmm. degree angle. 45. And put my tape, and then I just started doing the lines just like I did this other one. It's really best to use a fabric that is printed the same on both sides. So like a flannel. I mean, a brushed cotton, a brushed uh, homespun. And we just got in this new stuff. Mm. This is some flannel that is printed. I mean, that is uh, woven on both sides. It is scrump delicious. That's what I made this out of. So that's what this fabric looks like when it's chenilled up. Isn't that fun? That's awesome. And then, so after I did that, I, I, I uh, am all over the place here. <clears throat> After you get your two pieces done, okay, and you've, <coughs> excuse me, put them together back to back, and you want the lines to go different ways, and you've cut all these, all these are cut, what you're going to do is you're going to make a seam around all four sides about three to four times, and then you're going to go in and you're going to clip this larger piece. And when we do that, we want to use something that's spring-loaded because we don't want our hands to get tired. I love this. This is only two pieces of fabric. But if I'm going to make one of those rag quilts that takes, like, I think you're clipping eight or however many layers of fabric, this is the bee's knees to have for that. So, once you get all that clipped, oh, I wanted to show you, this one hasn't been done that way. It was just cut off and they were all the same. So look at the difference at the edge and then look at the mm. difference of this edge. <clears throat> so see, by doing that extra large piece on the uh, inside, you get this fuzzy edge. Isn't that yummy? I love that. This is done, I think, with denim. All kinds of stuff in there. I think they just threw everything but the kitchen sink in there. But anyway, that makes a nice one too. But that secret is to make that one piece bigger so that you can have a chenille on the edge. Isn't that fun? That's awesome. Here's the pattern. Let me show you the pattern. My friend Doug Lico Hi, Doug. designed this pattern, chenille pot pad, hot pad. Thanks, Doug. And this is, of course, by Ulfa. I love these pins. Yummy, yumminess. yumminess. The brush. The chenille brush. It doesn't take a lot of tools, and I tell you what, you should just make these for everybody that you know. They will love them. Love, love, love them. So, if, when you come and watch Dawn's demo, watch this, I'm gonna give this customer oh. right here, because she watched my demo, some demo dollars. Demo dollars. That she can spend today. If she makes a $25 purchase, we'll take $5 off of her bill, because she stood and watched me. So awesome. isn't that yumminess? I love so it. So another good reason to come to All Ways and Stitches in Noblesville. That's what I say. Absolutely. Thank you, Don. So that's what's mm -hmm. new. That's what's me. new. That's what's new from Don. So this this is it. Friday. We're gonna do it every Friday until her brain runs out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which, so today's Dawn the is, last day. No, I'm just kidding. Dawn is brilliant. She's forgotten more than most of us know. So it's going to be a really good series. I want you guys to come. And you don't have to come at a specific time. One to four. Anytime. I'll be now. here from one to four, sitting right here. Sitting right there at that little table, showing you some fun things. And uh -huh. Have all the supplies if you want to make that particular thing, and and I'm loving seeing these things how to use them because who knew? Yeah, I didn't know what any of those things were for. Oh, these I love these, Kathy. Yeah, I'm like, how long have we had these that I didn't I know, know about them? them. But, but but I'm not a quilter, so I would have had no reason to get them. You're not a quilter. But I'm thinking I'm thinking I can quilt straight line quilting, you know, right? On yeah. a little hot pad, for like, heaven's sake. I gotcha. But uh, but these are they don't so, hurt. No, they don't hurt you. No, and they're so sharp. Oh, they are sharper. Well, this is going through four pieces of fabric. Yeah, and it, and it, just, it just glides, glides through. through it, yeah. Look at that. Look. 
Good move, Clover. Those are great for pen basting. There are yeah. a lot of things those yeah. come here and Because for. when you're sewing, you have to take them out as you bump up against them. And right. look at that, how easy. You don't even have to close them. You could just leave them like that on something this little. But Very cool. binding, I mean, basting a big quilt, that'd be a breeze because do you know how hard uh, safety pins are yeah, to open and close? <laughs> yeah. Hard to open but let me give you a little tip on safety pins and these pins too. When you get a pair of shoes and they come with that little pack, you know that dry oh, that silicone thing. Yeah, one of these. Keep it in with your pins, your straight pins and your uh, safety pins, because it'll keep the moisture out of them and they won't rust. Oh, that's a good. I tip. love that. Okay, what's that worth, Peter? That is worth the price of admission. Exactly. <laughs> so I have a question. Okay. So. If I want to come in, but I want to come into every single demo on Friday, uh -huh. am I restricted on the number of demos I can come see on a Heck Friday? No, so I can come, come every visit. Friday and I can get come my dollar, every Friday. my five dollars, and go shopping. Get your five dollars and go shopping, but you have to stand and listen to me. <laughs> That's not hard. Yeah. <laughs> Not hard at all. Well, I always wanted to meet you, Dawn. Okay, I'm glad you did. <laughs> Wonderful. Good Thanks. talking to you. Thanks. Good talking to you. 